MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Nick, we've got a working representation of a fast M unit here. Yeah. Can you tell me a bit more? Okay, so um, the proposal from fast M's is that standalone machines that are tended by people are significantly less efficient than machines that are automatically tended. And what we have here is a working model um, of how we store material ready to be machined and how we deliver using a, a stacker crane uh, material to and from the machines and to and from the workstations uh, where they're loaded onto the pallets um, and this is just a representation of how you can have something that will work all by itself unattended lights out machining evenings weekends Christmas Day <laughs> so it's very futuristic looking but it's safe to say somewhere in the UK or somewhere abroad this would exist if, if we're honest the actual pallet management is a well-established technology that every self-respecting warehouse in the country will have. The clever bit is the control system and the software that schedules the work, tells the operator what to load, when to load it, checks that we've got availability of raw materials, probably also checks that we've got availability of cutting tools and cutting tool life sufficient to machine the number of components that are wanted to be machined. Um, we can go further, we can download orders from the ERP system, um, with dates by which the orders have got to be created and the system will automatically schedule everything just to all come together at the right time. And Nick, in automation, everybody wants to talk about payback. What is the typical payback of a fast end system? We reckon payback generally is two years. And I'll give you a bit of an analogy for that. And it probably goes something like, if you were to give me a quarter of a million now, and in two years time I was to give you a quarter of a million back, and then two years later I was to give you another quarter of a million, and two years later I was to give you another quarter of a million. Would you go for that? I also hear you're an expert when we talk in automation and seminars. Well, our biggest challenge is how we get the message across to, to our potential customers, because with due respect to engineers in the UK, it is not as well understood as, as it might be. And yet we do just the odd seminar every now and again. <laughs> Okay, Nick, and if I'm a business owner, I don't have to go to the shop floor to see my information now, do I? We've got dashboard. No, the dashboard um, allows the business owner to have a television screen in their office, configure it as they want to show everything from machine utilization, productivity, future productivity, any problems, you can see it at a glance. And if I'm interested in automation and I want to speak to the experts, how do I get in touch? Do you want to talk to the world leaders, Fastems? and you can either contact me and my details are on the website um, you'll find us electronically wherever you like <laughs>